that this this is what really fucking matters when it comes to reaction channels. Turn this fucking thing green. Oh, by the way, what's up? What's up? I'll get to you guys in just one fucking second here. Let me fucking set up some shit. Terrible enough. So you're right there. Actually, no. Yeah, back here. I need this fucking. <sighs> Close the door. We live in a fucking shoebox. Where's the remotes? Come on, you fuck. Throw this on. I don't care. How's that like? That like kind of normal? Maybe. Maybe a little bit. Take these fucking things out. I just got back from the gym. You guys are wondering what I was listening to. I think it was a pond of burning body. Alright. Let's fucking set this shit fucking straight here. Okay? Okay. I'm just gonna go off the top of my fucking head here. And my fucking signs on. Hold on, fuck. Why is that on? Try to cut out some of the dead shit here, but just got back from the fucking gym. Finally, because we're allowed to go back to the gym here in Canada. So, gonna keep this fucking straight up. First and foremost, there's a lot of talk going on about reactors not meaning a fucking thing. And 99% of them are shit, according to Finn McKenzie. I don't watch a lot of his content. I know who he is. I've seen a lot of people make some videos on it. So let's talk about some of the stuff. And a lot of the stuff that I'm going to really talk about is just my experience about it being in this reaction world, what I've seen from other reactors that I've grown really great relationships with, my personal, you know, being in the scene here and also like what I see from the outside as a reactor's perspective. So let's kind of jump in right off the hop here. I have a lot of shit on my screen. I'm going to pull it up here so you guys can fucking see what my fucking desk even looks like. Okay. Remember this whole thing. Reactor ch reaction channels are fucking shit. They don't do anything. It's apparently what you know, they just sit there, put their camera in a, in a fucking bot, like in the corner of the screen here and just record off OBS. For one, one screen right here, this is my OBS screen. For one, I just use it for screen capturing, okay? I use a, so or sorry, a Canon M50 with a fucking Sigma, uh, what is it, 16 mil fixed prime lens. I have a mic on top of that as well. Right here, my fucking camera rig is well over two fucking grand right now when I bought everything. This mic here, probably about 250 bucks, not the best fucking mic. I should have a better one, but sure. But look at my screen right now, okay? I have, a, I have a little bit of, you know, editing experience being in the Twitch world back in the day. But this is my one screen here. I have OBS. I have my fucking shitty free Audacity program that I use to record my stuff. And then I post edit everything so it sounds a little bit better for you guys. I have my Discord open up fucking all the time, okay? We got birthday shit going on in here. Chaney's birthday today. Happy birthday to you, Chaney. There's a couple things I want to point out today. So there, there's that one screen. This is on my computer the whole entire time. I do this full time for a living. So I'm going to be exposing a lot of shit. I'm going to just be speaking freely because I'm pretty, you know, I'm flustered with, with what's going on. And I really want to like kind of throw my what's it called, my flag down here and tell you guys what's up and what it's actually like being a reactor, if you want to call it. Like, I, for one, I'm doing this because I fucking love metal music and I love just, like, entertaining people on the other side of the camera and we'll get into that soon. I have some screenshots that I've been gathering up and honestly, one is probably the one that I'm going to be posting today and it really touched my heart because I was working out and this guy, I'll explain it, just keep watching. 
But my other screen right here, let's keep on track here. I, I, you know me, I'm all over the place. So my other screen right here, this is, I was working not on this video. I pulled this one up just for this video. But to show you guys the fucking edits here, let me fucking do all this on the fly right here. This is my editing screen, okay? This is Premiere. I have a bunch of fucking presets in here that obviously help me go a little bit faster. But these are... These are the cuts that I do in every single video here. As you can see, the bottom line here, right here, this is my audio. So, like, a lot of it is one take, and my song reactions are one take. I just have a gap. I like to take a breath after and then go into it. So, I just want to show you guys the editing that goes into this fucking shit. I'm not going to go into depth. If you want to see some in-depth editing shit that I do because you know my channel you know Ronnie Radke doesn't like my fucking editing because I went too crazy disclaimer that was my most edited thing and I really wanted to show him and hope he saw it and was like wow instead I almost fucking killed him so that being said this is what happens man like I got I got zoom ins I got shakes going on as well you, there's lots of things going on, lots of moving parts, and you guys have seen my reactions. So this is what it looks like. I go through this whole entire video, chopping stuff out, taking stuff out, making the screen bigger, this and that, zoom in, zoom out. I take the time to actually put people's logos in there as well. So again, remember, reaction channels don't do anything, and they don't deserve the fucking monetization of reacting to a song that's fucking bullshit fuck you now i'm getting heated this is this is raw orion here okay so th this is why i'm pissed because i take the time to do all this stuff yes there are some reactors out there that actually put the band name up there but when i first started no one was really doing that honestly i wasn't even really fucking doing it i just like making my shit look really good i like i enjoy the editing process of it and from time, from like straight in, uh, so like when I start react, or sorry, not start reacting, this is just my editing process. So you can see the whole screen here. This is my whole pro editing process. And it probably takes me about an hour and a half, maybe an hour to an hour and a half to do all this stuff in one run, maybe another 30 minutes to upload everything. So when bands, or sorry, when uh, reaction channels are getting fucking pissed off about copyright issues, uh, blocked videos and stuff, especially me, you don't want to fucking see me get all heated up with uh, reaction channels, or sorry, with uh, blocked videos, but this is why, because I, this is why I get mad. I blow up their fucking videos like this, like this right here and I showcase the work that they have done. I am obviously giving my reaction to listening to it for the first time, but that's what gets me here because when I get a block on this, this all has to fucking go. That's why I only put so much in there. And if I do bigger stuff like Slipknot or like fucking System of a Down, I remember having a fucking fit about as well. And a bunch of other stuff that are bands that I've never fucking listened to because of what my history was, what it was like growing up in school. And it's it sucks that there's a little bit of toxicity in the reaction world that I've never like this is this 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 is the example I've never listened to Linkin Park and it's not that I should give a fucking shit I really don't I could do whatever I fucking want I get it but I don't want to put Linkin Park reactions up there even though that I've been told they're the best fucking band out there you know rest in peace Chester and I'm afraid to put reaction videos up there because of the fucking hate and shit that I see other reactors get for putting up these bigger songs. And I know Alex Hefner gets a lot of heat for this as well. M you know, Metallica, you know, have you never heard of uh, Master of Puppets? You know, I've heard it, but I don't listen to uh, Metallica at all. I never found them attractive to listen to. Yes, they're big in the fucking metal scene, but I'm afraid to do reactions like that because of fucking talks of people like you. Not that I fucking care. I would tell you to go fuck off. You guys have probably seen some of my uh, <laughs> my uh, comments towards some of the people that go, you know, blah, blah, blah. They got something fucking say to say. I've learned to just stop and ignore those people. So anyway, this is my fucking editing situation. So yes, it takes time. It takes time. And it sucks when I take an hour out of my whole entire day 
an hour and a half, maybe two hours out of everything. That's even sitting down and recording it for fucking 10 minutes, setting everything up that you saw at the beginning of this video and to have it get copywritten, which means we don't make fucking money. You've seen all the other reaction channels like break all this down. We don't make the monetization on it. The bands and labels and producers or fucking whatever you want to fucking call them, get it as well or get the monetization. Not even the bands, really. The bands don't have a say in this as much as I have connections and uh, relationships with bands. I can send them a link and half the time, uh, maybe maybe a little more. Uh, they're a little bit more lenient, but some of these bands do not have that push or power to get that video unlisted. So there's a prime example right now uh, that I have of a video waiting because I have a fucking relationship with this fucking label, which is Sumerian Records. And I had this video like waiting to go out to obviously get monetized. So this is why this is why I like to get angry about this whole situation of reaction channels not meaning shit. So I don't consider myself a shit reaction channel. I don't consider a lot of these fucking reaction channels that I look up to to being shit. You got really good ones and I'm just going to name a couple. And honestly, like don't feel bad that I didn't say your name. I, I watch a lot of fucking reaction channels to see what other people are doing. And I see the fakeness and I, you know, there's a couple out there that don't, that don't, you know, that don't appeal to me or maybe not seem so genuine, but there is a lot of great content creators out there more than the 99% of them that are shit. There isn't, this isn't just the 1% of them, but you got like tech. The tank is really good at what he fucking does. He's in a very different aspect of a roadie, a gear expert breaking down stuff in a video and spitting out fun facts. I've been starting to do that right now because I like his style and I've even mentioned to it as well, but I have my girlfriend that works a bit behind, Behind the scenes as well. This isn't just a one fucking deal thing with uh, me running everything because I can't do it. I honestly can't do it. So I have my girlfriend. We, we She goes by Emo Queen in the comments, but her name is Leah. She's starting to make these band facts for our videos and stuff and make it a little bit more, you know, value in our videos and stuff like that. So like this is a 50 50 like business, if you want to say, or like this is fun to do. But yes, we do make some money doing this stuff. So uh, along with our merch, our merch is honestly really is doing very well for us. And that's where I'm, I guess, recouping the, you know, the monetization that I could be making off of these videos. Another situation, I don't like to pause. I cannot sit here and say this is my first reaction to a song and pause it and, and try to talk about the song and stuff like that and know the lyrics right off the hop, especially when we're listening to metal music like this, to say something and pause it before a breakdown. To me, I don't listen to songs like that. Some other people might, but I feel that it's, you know, it's a lot of it is around the monetization. And if that's your fucking style, great. All the power to you. I just can't do it. So if you watch channels that do that, don't be shitting on them for that. And I've learned to, to, to uh, not shit on that situation because I understand. I get mad that I'm not making money off of this for Google AdSense. And there's, ban or sorry, other channels out there that pause it that can still work around it and give great information about the band, such as Tech the Tank. And they're fucking soaring and doing something right. So I, I have a respect for people that do that and have the patience and time to actually construct those videos and have the patience to sit there and talk about the video in that aspect. Me, I guess I don't I don't want to put myself under a label. There's I guess some other reactors are saying there's there's entertainers. There's, you know, full genuine. There's you know, there's the guitar experts. There's the vocal experts. I don't have any expertise to say, like, I fucking know vocals. This is what he's doing wrong. And I'm not going to sit there. And I think there's a lot of uh, people out there that claim to be vocal coaches. Great. That's fucking great. They can sit there and have that expertise to make that kind of content. I don't. So for me to, like, build everything around that we have already in the short amount of time that we've done this, hopefully by the time this video goes up, we actually hit this 50,000 mark. And that's a big milestone to me. Honestly, I have over 100,000 on TikTok and uh, YouTube here. 
it is a struggle for some reason to get people to fucking subscribe when I've worked so hard on my videos. I put a lot of time and effort into these videos. I'm not saying that's bad. If you don't like my content, that's fine. I totally understand that. Um, but it, it just it just blows my mind, I guess, in in the way those two platforms work for sure. But that's why we're getting mad. OK, there's a lot of situations why we are getting mad. And this is why I get mad. So for me, I'm just coming out of the gym and I, I got heated up. But this is the situation here of uh, of what I wanted to really talk to you and why this actually really made me uh, make this video today. But I got a message here from uh, Jared and uh, he sent me over a message. We were talking yesterday uh, on Instagram and guys, I, I get tons of fucking emails uh, DMs and everything and this is why this matters to me as much as it's fun to make these videos as much as much as the work that goes into this stuff my girlfriend helping me she she runs literally the apparel company of Orion Apparel and all this black merch that you see everything she takes care of the orders the stuff that uh, either gets uh, not shipped out properly or there's you know the sales and this and that she takes care of all of that stuff because I don't have time to do that because I'm focused on getting content out there for you and now she's putting out uh, you know band facts and stuff and she's a big part of the twitch streams and that and like organizing all the song requests in there and we have help from our community such as like random robot as well that have created systems to help our workflow be better so like this is where the community part comes in for me that this this is what really fucking matters when it comes to reaction channels you can talk shit about them all you want you can you can put your camera in the corner and say this is my reaction honestly there's not a lot of fucking channels that do that if i'm gonna say something about it i've never really came across some channels that do that a lot of channels in the metal scene, at least, I don't watch much outside of the metal scene, um, but I do to pick up different, you know, avenues of like where I can take my content and stuff like that. But they have things to say. There are some people that have, like, no, sorry, majority of the people do have something to say. You have smaller people, which I blow blows my mind how small they are and how long they've been doing this for. Is like, FYM reacts for one. I I've grown a great relationship with this fucking dude. And he was the first person in the reaction scene to come up to me and my channel and get a hold of me and say, hey, wait, what's up? You know, such a solid dude. I'm loving your content so far. Welcome, welcome, blah, blah, blah. Love this guy. And now I've inspired him to do a lot more editing and stuff in his channels. And you know what? I think that's what we need as reactors. And it, like, you know, I might be this to uh, FYM, Kevin over there. But like Tank the Tech and like Nick Nocturnal are like other higher ups i guess if whatever you want to fucking call them i look up to those channels to see what i can do with my channel on that aspect but anyway i'm getting off fucking topic here um so the community side of things my discord open all the time and i chime in as much as i can i do live feeds in my discord community where like i i'm editing hanging out with my community sometimes we do game nights we need to get more onto that but this is what fucking got me. Let's just get to the point here. Jared over here. We started talking yesterday and he said, man, I'm going to see Wage War tomorrow. And I said, I'm so jealous. I'm like, I'm blocking you now. Joking. He knows I'm joking. So I like to have fun with my community and people that reach out and like think about me uh, when, you know, like a black comes through because we have this great fucking community around blacks. And uh, and then he said he saw, you know, fit for an autopsy. And I said, that's jealous. So that was yesterday. And he didn't message back to say, you know, saying because he said he was going to send some videos. And I just comment back, you know, looking through my DMs while I'm working out. This is a new routine that I'm really working on to get a hold of everybody now and pay more attention to our community. But this is what hurt. This is what fucking pokes my heart, man. So I said, uh, how'd the concert go? And he sends me these two videos. And one is the death roll video. I'm going to play it right now. And he does a black in it. Death roll. Blah blah blah, and uh, and then he and then he comments and he goes, "Wage war killed it. Remember it because of you, that I know about them. So because of me and my reaction channels, I know wage war. A, wage war is a little bit bigger, which he probably should have heard by now, right? If they're that big, 
But this goes out to the smaller bands that reach out to people like us as reaction channels to do reactions on them. This is why it fucking matters because of him. Or sorry, because of me, this guy would have not known to see Wage War or go to see Wage War if it wasn't for my channel. So I think that was really cool and it really touches my heart. And there's been tons of fucking comments that people have uh, said this to me. And I just want to say thank you for that because it re-sparks me to know that I'm doing good in this in in what I want to do for this stuff as a reaction channel and there is a lot of things there really there really is uh there, sorry there's a couple more things that I, I wanted to kind of like go through with this uh <laughs> this email again I go all over the place so that's why you got to watch this whole fucking video but uh and I told him like thanks for for making my day man like I think it's just really cool uh I'm like and I asked him you mind if I use this because I think this is great content to show you guys that this is what matters Two reactors like us. And I've watched uh, Tech the Tank and Nick Do Nocturnal's, uh, what's it called? Their podcasts on like basically all of YouTube and, uh, and social media and stuff like that. And these guys love it for this reason. The fact that they can put a band in front of you and show you something that you might not have heard is the, I believe, the core reason that reaction channels are doing this stuff. Yes, we want to make money for the efforts we put in. You work at a job and put your time and effort. That's what you're doing. You are treating your time for money. That's basically what we're doing at a lesser cost. I have almost 900 videos doing this for two years now. Yes, I do this full time. Merch is more of the, the income that comes in for us as well, which I'm very thankful for Emo Queen. And I'll be straight up with you guys with that. Um, and a lot and Twitch streams help as well. So like you guys supporting us and supporting us and stuff like that and Patreon as well. I am working my tail off literally from like nine, nine o'clock till about seven is when I stop like really editing these days. And when I'm in bed, my girlfriend goes to sleep. She likes her sleep. I, I take some time out of there as well to try to, to, to pay attention to you know, the relationship, the household and stuff like that as well. There's a little bit of time in there for food. And it, it's hard because even at nighttime, man, I'm still going through fucking comments. People like me, I like to answer comments in, our com in the comment section in YouTube. So I like the community building side of this if you haven't gotten that already. I take the time to connect with you guys in the comments, say what's up, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, and I see a lot of creators that just hit the heart button, which is fine. If that's what you wanna do, that's what you wanna do. I've had conversations with other creators to ask why they do it that way, because I like to see both perspectives. And I get why, they they have more of their personal lives that they're you know more, I guess, trying to fulfill. And that's okay. There's nothing wrong with that. I just, I like the relationship side of thing. I watch a lot of Gary Vaynerchuk. So staying up till three o'clock in the morning, answering fucking DMs or, or comments and stuff like that really goes a long way in my perspective. So I've been doing this for two years, just hitting 50,000 subs. It's a great milestone. I'm very thankful for it. So thank you if you're watching even this long into it to see if I say thank you about it. I thank you guys a lot and all the support for Patreon and stuff like that. Um, my whole community is the backbone of this for sure. But I'm just, uh, where the fuck was I going? Um, uh, more or less, like, I've been doing this for so long and people get mad about this copyright shit. And, you know, this is the whole topic of the video, Ryan, stay on track. That 99% of the reaction channels are shit. So there's a lot of great reactors out there that aren't shit. I would say less, less than 10% are maybe shit. But you know what? We all started out somewhere. So I don't know where this con conception of their shit is. Because if you're in this, even for the first, say three to six months, and you're doing this and you're not seeing the growth, growth that you want, people will see through the bullshit. So if you're putting out shit content, you're done. Your channel's done, it's dying. You're not gonna be hype enough to continue on to do this. 
But there are a lot of channels that don't get a lot of views that like to spread, you know, good new bands and stuff like that that need to be heard as well. There's a lot of channels out there that I see that it's like, bro, you talk about this band, you're showing people and people aren't clicking like we got to change something so we can get these bands hurt. So anyway, the, the, the where I'm going with this and the monetization and stuff and blockage and blah, 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 is the fact that like. Like the two years that I've been doing this out of my Google AdSense of my revenue. So imagine if I was full time, not doing merch or anything, not doing Patreon, which a lot of people are not doing in the reaction world. The way that I do my videos and don't pause, I made $4,000 in two years. Yes, I'm grateful for it. You know, the extra 100 to $150 a month that I made from uh, Google AdSense fucking helps. Sure it does. That could pay for one vacation a year. And to some people, that's great. That can pay off their credit card debt. That could supply for, uh, you know, for Christmas presents for their family. Put food on their fucking table. The inflation right now is insane in this fucking world. And I'm not going to get heated on this because this whole world is fuckery right now. So anyway, this is, this is Raw Ryan getting heated over... A lot of shit that's going on in the scene and I really want to plant my flag to sh to tell you guys and show you guys what it's like being a reactor like myself that hustles that fucking grinds that has their spouse involved with it and I know there's a lot of other reactors out there that do have their spouses involved like that alone is a fucking level up in the fucking reaction world or any kind of content creation that you're creating so I the 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 most thanks that I could give in this whole entire video is my girlfriend Leah emo queen that you might see her in the comments for one day I would love to get her in some videos and stuff like that but like the way she, we're working together right now it works and I and I don't want to ruin that relationship that we have but the hustle that comes from her is insane it, it blows my mind sometimes and it kicks my ass to be like get the fuck up ryan we need to fucking do this you know there's days i don't want to fucking make videos and i know this is long this is almost a 30 minute fucking video so i might put it out as this or not but hey i'm gonna wrap it up i'm just gonna say thank you for watching into this long i know i got heated up about a lot of stuff and i and i, I kind of exposed myself to a lot of things that are going on with my channel i am here to stay I am a hustler and I want to win at this. I don't think there's, you know, there's Nick Nocturnal that wants to win and do bigger and better things. There's Tech the Tank and I'm, I'm referring to these guys because I watched their channel and I've learned a lot about them that I didn't know that from the outside looking in as either, you know, a viewer or a reactor that sees this stuff and like, why the fuck did they blow up this way, you know? They're doing all the big bands kind of thing so they get the views and stuff, but no, they have content and that's what rearranged my fucking mind. I'm like, okay, my editing style is obviously throwing some people off. A lot of people like it. So thank you for commenting on that Ronnie Radke video, by the way. Um, but it takes, it, it puts me in a position to like, okay, step back. Let's take a look at it. Let's readjust some things and like now like I, I have obviously influence from Tech the Tank with his band facts and, and I'm not going to do uh, gear breakdowns because I don't know fuck all about it, but you know, help support the bands and I know this is why Tech the Tank has like, like is okay with me doing it. I, I caught him in a stream with uh, Richard uh, Jandrin and, and we checked out the reactions and stuff of his new song. And I told him, I'm like, yo, don't mind the fucking band facts. I just want to get, you know, people to know Richard, people to know the band that were reacting. And I like your style. He's like, dude, I didn't invent that. So the fact that he's cool with it and he's we've reached out. And we've been talking about some stuff. We, you know, we might do some collabs and stuff like that. Who the fuck knows? So I just want to say thank you. Take a step back. Look at what's going on in the reaction world as a viewer. I guess I just wanted to be open up front. And to show you guys, especially at the 50,000 K mark and how hard I fucking work. Sorry, my fucking thing just cut off. So that's another fucking part of the video. I got to fucking line up now. Anyway, so th that part. And then now I'm like, uh, fuck. Now I, I totally forgot what I said. Now I went through the fucking 30 minutes of the shit. Um, fuck. I mean, you, you know where I'm going with this. It's just, this is my, this is my journey through this 
And to reach 100,000, I, I, I can. I, I can throw out a couple videos out there that I could probably hit this in like six months time, another 50,000 subscribers, but I don't want that for my channel. Uh, I like reacting to weird shit. I like just providing content out there and having fun with you guys. I think the Twitch streams are like a lot of fun because I get to do live stuff with you guys and interact with you guys, but I think that's the main reason and the main thing that I'm in this for is the community building. And yeah, it, it helps grow the channel and it helps, you know, get me bigger and stuff like that. And I can make a, you know, more dollars on top of that. But again, I do this full time. I put out maybe two or three bands a fucking day for reaction channels and 90, 95% of my fucking videos are not monetized. Like I said, out of the two years that I've been doing this with over 900 fucking video, or sorry, almost 900 videos, uh, I've made $4,000 with Google AdSense. Grateful for it. It helps my pockets. But th that's, that's, I'm not pausing the videos because of the fucking content, or sorry, because of the, uh, the money that's like being sent out to these other, uh, not producers, uh, labels and stuff like that. Whoever owns the copyright to the music is what I'm saying. So for for a lot of the channels that have been saying, you know, we need to hold back. We we deserve this. We do deserve this. So bands, if you're listening to you, newer bands that you want us to react to, honestly, like even offering, you know, the monetization, which I know Tech the Tank and, and a lot of other uh, reactors as well, they they take that as a payment and stuff like that. But even that, if they get even maybe 10,000 views on it, they're maybe making $20 depending on their, uh, their, uh, AdSense thing. And there's been some videos on like, I'll, I'll make $5 off of it. Would you do watching this whole video? Would you do this amount of work for $5 a video? And honestly, it maybe might last for a fucking week of getting views and stuff like that. So for me, I promote the band. I like to see, you know, I engage with the comments and stuff like that. I push it out to my social medias. So I'm in the comments again, promoting your band. But for us as a reactor that might have a platform to put you on to get the $5 out of there or even maybe, maybe the $20 off the bigger stuff. I mean... It all adds up, but even that, I'm not making money off Google AdSense or, you know, monetized videos. So I'm just saying, thank your reactors that you like, that you watch, that you support. There's a lot of fucking ones that I like and look up to, even the bigger ones. But I look down to the smaller ones as well, man. Like, I want to pick them up. Uh, and, and when I say small, I mean, like, sub count or following. But like people like FYM has been in th this business longer than I have. He likes to promote smaller bands that, you know, I'd like to do a little bit more bigger bands, but the stuff that I like that's in my core comfort zone and stuff like that. But I like to reach out. But even like MTN, me, uh, MTN reacts as well. I watched his reaction channel on 99% of this fucking bullshit. And he was hilarious. And it was like one of the first like real videos that I've actually checked out from him. And he's a funny dude, solid. And like, it's just the, these little reactors, even Rachel reacts as well as one of them. And like the content that they're putting out, they're not shit. They might have like a little lesser quality than some of us, but they work probably just as hard and they should be a lot like should be fucking boosted up in subs as well. It's just my opinion. So I can't, I can just say Say what's up. Say thank you for all the work that they're doing. I don't don't even fucking bother saying what's up for me. Um, I know I put my, a lot of work into this, but just show them the respect. Show them, uh, you know, that you're happy for it. And that, you know, the comment that Finn said, and I watched Metal Burbs video on that too, which was a great fucking video about that. Guys, they're making content about this, and I wanted to do it as well to say my two cents. But just know that these guys are very humble they know what they're talking about and they're in it for the good, like for the good. They're, they're, this is what they love doing. So anyway, and I commend the reactors that do have a full time job after doing videos and stuff. I know how much time I know the render time that it takes. I know the blocked videos and the like the copyright shit. It sucks. So, guys, I'll end it on that note. Thank you for listening to me ramble. But I was pissed and happy at the same time that uh, that dude sent me uh, 
a message like that that just needed to be this this needed to happen okay i feel better about it because i got a little bit of heated about it and i'm going on like 36 minutes here and uh i just want to say thank you so if you're here for the long run believe in this channel and what we're doing thank you for the support thank you for making this uh you know uh, i guess a career that i'm made this out of and uh definitely give emo queen and the rest of the community that's helped this grow a big thanks as well, especially like big thanks to Emo Queen. I wouldn't be here with that or today for one, the moral support and two, just the work and effort that she does outside, like on her free time. It's insane. So guys, thank you. And until the next time, I, I, I feel like I left some shit out, but if I did, I'm sorry. Maybe I'll do a part two edit video. What do you guys want? Did you watch this whole video? Peace.